Okay, so Peter Capaldi is done, and Jodie Whittaker has now taken her spot as the 13th Doctor. Now, I was a huge fan of the Matt Smith Doctor, so I tried to give Peter Capaldi a, a, a shot. Something about his demeanor never quite clicked. I think that's because Matt Smith had a very more uh, comedic approach to the character. I also watched the, the Dave Tennant stuff too, and I liked his approach. And it's weird because you get attached to a character, to a dynamic, and to a companion. And I didn't really care a lot for uh, Clara. <sighs> And when they brought in uh, the, the Bill Potts character, I actually dug her a lot more. I thought that I thought that she actually she she rounded out the character a little better. So when we get to this one, it's the first Doctor is refusing to regenerate, and of course he now runs into Peter Capaldi runs into him, who also kind of refuses to regenerate. It's like. This isn't my TARDIS. Well, yours is over there. So two doctors, two TARDISes, or call them TARDI. Uh, I love that when you went to the first doctors, the aesthetic vastly different. You know, all white, shiny, and then you go to Peter Capaldi's and it has a like, dark, dingy feel to it. It has this lived-in feeling, lived-in quality. I like, I like that. It was great main crux of the, the story is you have a World War II era captain who gets stuck in like a frozen time moment due to a group known as Testament. Testament pretty much is a group from the far future that the moment before you die they pretty much take all of your memories and then they put you back so you actually die the moment you're supposed to. But in case they need to, they can bring back a full uh, smellicrum. I might have butchered that term if I didn't, sorry. Version of you with all of the memories, all of the emotions, but you're effectively comprised of glass. So, of course, Peter Plus, I gotta find out more about these guys. Goes, of course, to a rogue Dalek, Dalek and is like, I need to take this information I have, a picture of this person to find out who she is. And it's like, oh. Not really a villain. First Doctor decides, you know, I'm going to regenerate. Twelfth Doctor says, you know what? I'm going to regenerate. I could not do it justice, but his soliloquy when he is finally done is brilliant. I will say, when they do these, it's like, this is it, this is your last time being the Doctor. Unless we bring you back as, like, you know, a, a bit character. This is it. This is how you, we're going to have you encapsulate your entire character. You began the Doctor be going, great, who are you and who am I and what is this thing? You know, you've went from there to here, and this is the bookend for your time as the Doctor. That being said, I really wasn't a huge fan of Peter Quality Doctor Who. I, I will say, if it is River Song, it's required to watch because River Song Spirit is amazing. So I did watch, I think it was the 2015, there's the Husband River Song episode, which, oh, brilliant. Something about that character is just, she's magical. So we have a new Doctor. The exciting thing about that, of course, is that now with the new one, they're going to tweak the presentation. That's what they do. That's the brilliant thing about building a regeneration. It's like, well, some of it, yeah, it's, I'm losing the spark. They can go, cool, we can regenerate and bring someone new in. And if someone can go, ah, you know, I'm just not feeling it, Nowhere character goes, you know, I can jump in for a little bit. They can say, okay, well, we can bring in the old doctor for a little bit and do some things because they're terrible. Probably through time, you can have all just simultaneously because they do because they're outside of time so I'm looking forward to a new doctor see the direction she takes it it'll be unique to see well one interaction with River Song 
because that should be different. She's probably fine with it. I'd be like, oh, the duck. Huh. This is different. You were always a man. She might go, oh, okay. Will there be a male companion instead of a female companion? Will there be a female companion? I don't know. That's the nice thing. I've got faith in what they can do in the show and what they can do moving forward, so you know what? I'll give this doctor a shot. See what she can do.